All right, thanks so much, guys. Yeah, we're talking graphite manufacturing today for lithium-ion batteries with GraphX Group. This was the headline at the beginning of the week. The company announced plans to establish a Michigan-based EV battery-focused material production facility. Uh, we're very happy uh, to speak with GraphX today. And John DeMaio, who is president of the Graphene Division of GraphX Group and CEO of GraphX Technologies, uh, joining us uh, to discuss this news. It's great to have you, John. Welcome. Uh, John's on the West Coast, so it's it's early, but we appreciate you getting up to uh, uh, to tell us about this. So, congratulations, first of all, on this uh, this production facility. Why don't you start off with maybe a little bit on what exactly the company does, and we'll get into the manufacturing process here as well. You bet, and it's great to be with you. Um, so, Graphics is a midstream uh, producer of graphite for use primarily in, in electric vehicle batteries, but for Applications that call for any graphite in the lithium ion space, um, uh, we provide the anode material for uh, electric vehicle batteries is primarily um, what we're focused on. So 10,000 metric tons uh, currently being produced by the, the company coming out of China. What, if any, uh, are there benefits of having this uh, facility within the U.S. instead of you know, trying to bring it in uh, from the Chinese market? Right, so there are multiple. So the graphite will still be primarily processed in China, mined in China, but there are multiple benefits to having a U.S. Um, supply chain. One is the localized supply chain, right? Uh, car manufacturers, battery manufacturers that are uh, installing gigafactories here in the U.S. are going to be looking for supply. We all know that the electric vehicles are increasing in number. That requires more batteries. Batteries require more graphite. So localized supply chain, almost to the point of just-in-time processing. Um, having U.S. local supply chain will eliminate some of the geopolitical concerns that you hear about almost daily about, you know, again, uh, political kind of forces at play. Uh, eliminating some of the supply chain interruption that we've seen over the last couple of years, right? Uh, we're also going to be importing technology into the U.S., right? Sharing what we've learned over the years with the rest of the industry, with the rest of the world. So importing tech into the U.S. versus the other way, um, importing U.S. jobs or bringing jobs to the U.S. and U.S. manufacturing. So we think there's multiple benefits to bringing a plant online. You know, hopefully in Michigan, you know, we're definitely working through, you know, some logistics there, but definitely in the U.S. Uh, this would be the first of per per perhaps multiple plants in the U.S. And of course, we're looking at, at supporting the EV proliferation in Europe and beyond. We talk on uh, this show almost daily about, you know, these companies coming out saying they can't find, you know, materials for batteries. There's, there's supply chain issues, as you mentioned, you know, decreasing the production of these vehicles, even as uh, demand is at basically all time high. So uh, love the angle of uh, not only localizing and, you know, increasing the access to these, but uh, increasing jobs as well, as you mentioned, which is uh, a huge positive for the local uh, market. Uh, the Company still working on increasing production as well. What else can investors look forward to from GraphX in the future? Well, we have a three-prong approach to expansion and diversification. First, on the production side, I think you alluded to it. You know, we have plans in place to increase our production from 10,000 metric tons to 40,000 metric tons over the next three years. Uh, so we're moving ahead with with that process. So that's on the production side. On the supply side. Uh, we're looking at diversification of those raw materials. You mentioned, and, and uh, it's published, that 100% of our raw materials currently come from northeastern province of China. Uh, we are looking at other supply, other, other sources of supply for that raw material in different countries around the world. Uh, so we have diversification on the supply side. And then, of course, on the distribution side, we're looking at obviously at the U.S. Uh, manufacturing facility. We're also partnered with, with uh, Desitec, a company that's got strong uh, connections throughout Europe uh, for uh, supporting gigafactories in other countries as well. So production, supply, and distribution, we're looking to expand on all fronts. John DeMiles, president of the Graphene Division of GraphX Group and the CEO of GraphX Technology. We appreciate you doing this this morning. Uh, best of luck. Thanks for coming on. A pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much. Graphics, uh, guys, we saw the uh, OTC QX listing there, bottom of the screen.